No Man's Sky was a game that was released in 2016 on August 9th for PS4 players and on August 12th for PC players. The game was hyped up to be the biggest and most expansive game ever made, a space exploration game with 18 quintillion planets to explore, each one being even more unique than the last, each having completely different plants, animals, and locations to explore, with an amazing complex faction system with amazing rewards to earn, amazing adventures and space battles to go on, and the fact that you are not alone in this universe, that you could run into other people, real people playing the game while going on these amazing adventures. However, these promises never came to fruition. Yeah, we were actually lied to. None of these things were in the game when it was released. The only thing that they didn't lie about was that the game was huge. There are, as far as we know, as many planets as they promised, but there is no variety. The first couple hours in the game were amazing because the planets did have some variety. It was cool to see all these different creatures, but after that, there was nothing else. The planets lost their variety, and even if they looked cool, they all played out the exact same. Flying to a planet, landing, getting materials, going to buildings, going back to a space station, selling your stuff, and repeat. The space combat was clunky and didn't mix well with the flight controls. The factions were all just glorified vending machines and weren't even needed while playing the game. And worst of all, the one thing we had wondered about for so long, the thing that Hello Games and Sean Murray hyped up for so long, the center of the galaxy, it ultimately amounted to nothing. It literally was nothing. The only thing it did was take you to a new galaxy and basically acted as a new game plus, except it wasn't even harder. All it did was allow you to go to, through the torture of playing this game all over again. The launch of both versions was utter dog shit. The PS4 version frequently crashed, the PC version was poorly optimized and gave people, even with good PCs, low frame rate. The game was extremely buggy on top of that. The first time that I switched solar systems, the game crashed. Guess even the game realized it was bad. People thought this game dead on arrival. Hello Games and Sean Murray went radio silent, refusing to say anything about new content, fixing their game, or anything. Just releasing patches every so often and saying, you know, bye. Hell, even Rare handled this better with Sea of Thieves, releasing a roadmap of what content is coming and when, and informing people how they want to fix their game and what they'll be fixing. Hello Games and Sean Murray just kind of let us wait until they finally shout new content. However, they finally broke their silence on November 25th, 2016, where they finally announced the Foundation update, adding new game modes into the game, Normal Mode, which is just the normal game from before, Survival with limited resources, increased hazards and more difficult enemies, and Creative with unlimited resources, Fuel, and allows you to pray freely with no hazards whatsoever. It also allowed you to build devices while you are out exploring, devices like save points, mining units, waypoints, etc. It also added a new planet lacking any form of life that will completely destroy your life support, as well as a quick access menu which allows you to charge your equipment faster and fuel your ship's landing gear or even a shield, which in turn helped the space combat system a bit. However, the biggest part about this update was the fact that you were able to claim a home planet and create a base of your own, allowing for other things like farming, portals that can fast travel you to space stations, all making the game a little less of a chore to play. This update also allowed you to buy freighters and create a base inside of them, which also allowed for even more inventory space while exploring the universe. While this update didn't completely fix the game, it definitely improved it in a way that you could endure the journey a little longer than last time. And they fixed most of the bugs in the game that crash as often, which shows Hello Games was here for the long run until they make this game into what they originally wanted it to be. The first update of many, and the foundation for things to come. No Man's Sky's next update was announced on March 8th, 2017, titled The Pathfinder Update. The update, like the last, added many things to the game. While it may not have added many gameplay elements, it still improved the game on multiple levels. It added visual improvements to the game and even added 4K support. Insert 4K res joke here. It made some menu improvements, allowed you to own multiple ships, and even made it so your bases could be found by other people playing. It wasn't multiplayer, but it was a step in the right direction. It added a ship and multi-tool classification system as well, giving ships and your multi-tool ratings of different stats like damage, maneuverability, scanning range, etc. However, the main thing for this update was the exocrafts, which were basically land vehicles. They allowed you to traverse the planets a lot faster and allowed for more inventory space, which it's kind of weird that with each update they figure out how to give players more inventory space by the time nomad sky is finished with its updates our backpacks will be the size of one of the planets itself the update added very minor things like more building parts and allowed you to leave messages for other people to find it also added a photo mode which now allows artists to play the game so thanks for that hello games they're not very big things but it's more content so who can complain it's definitely one of the more lesser updates but the next one makes up for that the next update atlas rises was announced on august 11th 2017. this update was probably the biggest one that's been released it added a big graphic overhaul with newer textures higher resolution props and overall just making the game look even better than before. With this graphical update, it also allowed for new biomes to explore on the planets, adding a little more variety into this massive universe. It also improved the galactic map quite a bit, allowing you to see what faction was in the solar system, what was popular in the system's economy, and the threat level to see how likely you were to be engaged in a battle. 
It also added little encounters with space pirates where they contact you on your ship before they try to attack you, which also allows you to let them attack, bargain with them for a certain amount of credits, or pay them what they want in full. It also added a jobs board of sorts, where you can do short missions for a faction to earn reputation for them. This can include killing sentinels, delivering items to certain people, etc. The list goes on. These missions will also earn you credits, blueprints, or rare items for completing them, it also allowed you to fly your freighter through solar systems instead of going there with your ship and summoning it. The big thing it added was 30 hours of story content to the game. The story isn't necessarily the greatest, but it sure as hell is better than whatever shit show we got last time. It also added a new race into the game and improved Atlas Path, which is essentially the, what the story was in the game first release, terrain manipulation, more music, and even added portals into the game, which was a feature that was promised before the game's release. Crash freighters to salvage. It also greatly improved the space combat system, adding more weapons. And while it still isn't the best space combat, it's definitely better than how it was when it was in its vanilla state. It added better cockpit UI, low flight, an actual multiplayer system where two players can meet up and explore together. It's not perfect right now and interaction is very limited, but it is a start. You can definitely see the game slowly starting to become what they wanted it to be and what they set out for it to be. With each update, the game is slowly improving. Then, on March 29th, Hello Games announced that No Man's Sky is now being sent out to Xbox One. Some people are excited about this, and some people just don't really care. With this announcement, they also announced their next update, No Man's Sky Next. In this announcement, they say, We called our upcoming update Next because it's an important next step on a longer journey for us in the community. They announced that this will be their biggest update yet for No Man's Sky, and that they've been working really hard on this update. They haven't officially announced what's going to be in the update, and I'm sure they won't say anything until the update is released, but that's what the next paragraph is for. This segment is just my thoughts on what I would like to be in this update. I'm not going to get my hopes up, but I think that this stuff would be nice and would help the game a lot. First thing is even more improvements to the combat mechanics, maybe mess with the flight controls a little to help the space combat mix with it better. I'd also really like faction battles to be implemented, where we get to see freighters fighting each other and the smaller ships helping as well, where you can join and pick sides to gain reputations for the factions. It'd really be a sight to see, and it would be great to immerse you in this world, because there's no way that some people from each factions don't get mad at each other and start picking fights and have other big epic things like that. Maybe add some limited time events like a ship being attacked by sentinels unfairly or sentinels attempting to destroy a building that could have a rare blueprint or something like that. Hell, do something risky. Add an epic battle between a group of freighters and a space station as you get further towards the center of the galaxy or if you don't stop the freighters, they destroy the space station completely and it'd also be nice to give more incentives to fight a freighter or maybe you can hurt it enough where they will give the freighter to you and you can repair it until it's back to normal. Another thing that they could add to immerse you is have the NPCs actually do something. Have them walk around and type on different computers, not have them sitting on their ass the whole time. Have NPCs getting out of their ships to trade at training posts. Have freighters actually slowly flying and moving around instead of them just warping in and sitting there until you decide to fuck off. I think something that would be cool is to have some sort of squad system or something where you could hire mercenaries to fight with you. Something else I hope they do is give even more meaning to the factions. Have them do a little more for you so you have incentive to gain reputation with them. Maybe have certain perks for being cool with a faction, like maybe when you meet max reputation with the Viking, they give you a ship with really good weapons on it, and maybe if you get max reputation with the Corvax, you get a ship with the most warp drive distance possible. It would really help the game out, but these are just things I'd like in this update or updates in the future. No Man's Sky redeemed itself, and there's no doubt about it. The game is definitely better than it was originally, but what do you think of No Man's Sky now? Do you guys think it, it is worth a buy? Uh, let me know in the comments. I want to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions, of course. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I love you all. Make sure to like, subscribe if you are new. If you want more videos like this, tell me in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Nice, die slow. I guess. Uh, I didn't want to do this, but uh, I kind of have to. Uh, well, I may not have to, but I'm experimenting to see if YouTube's algorithm really hates me that much. And if YouTube algorithm, if the YouTube algorithm really favors 10 minute long videos, okay? Uh, this will only be like 30 seconds or so, and we'll be done. Don't worry. Uh, I'm just experimenting. You don't, you don't have to Listen to this whole part. 
you, you can leave now. The video's over. Uh, yeah, the video's 10 minutes now, I think. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.